Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. I've been trying to film the entire morning. This lighting got me going <laughs> kind of crazy. For, at first, it was too dark. Now, it's too bright. Uh, and the part where I was applying my foundation, you could not see anything except for a, just a pale white face. So anyway, so what I have on my face so far is um, this Clio Kilt Cover um, Cushion Foundation. Uh, I really like this in the summer because it, it's high coverage as well as providing a dewy finish. So that's what I have on my face right now. And I did my brows already but I haven't cleaned it up. It's uh, the same product I always use. This is the uh, Etusize. It's a Japanese brand. E T T U S A I S, a uh, natural powder brow liner. So it basically comes up like this with a little applicator, and then you can just apply it directly to the eyebrows. I have not cleaned it up yet, so we're gonna do that right now. And I'm going to move you a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm just using an eyebrow spoolie and then kind of brushing it. Um, I don't, I, I don't really like my brows super super defined, um, but I do have a lot of gaps in my brows, and I like to fill them in. And I can go in with a pencil. Just any pencil that you have, and then kind of, kind of do a like really light outline of the brows, and then I fill them in a little bit more, and then just brush that out. That's basically what I do for the eyebrow. I do go in with a concealer sometimes to clean up the edges when I have a lot of. Uh, messy like round little hairs on the bottom which is what I'm gonna do today this is I think my fourth attempt at another get ready with me video I just think those videos are so hard to film because you need the perfect lighting and Toronto right now has really bipolar weather it's either freaking cold or freaking warm so the next thing I'm going to do this is a little trick for your foundation if you do want your foundation to look like skin I use a setting spray and I spray it to the sponge uh, I kind of let it dry a little bit and then I press it into the skin so that just helps to take away any cakiness of the foundation instead of adding it too much like that okay. so next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is uh, actually a corrector by Chanel this is in the color uh, rose I just have a little bit of dark circles that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna cancel those out I went to bed super early yesterday. I went to bed at 8 and I woke up at 4. Which isn't a great because I wanted to, you know, sleep all the way till 8 or 9. And then the day before I couldn't sleep until 4. So for a two continuous day, I kept waking up at 4. But at least yesterday I had a really great sleep since I went to acupuncture to help out my sleeping cycle. I personally found acupuncture really works. Um, so my acupuncturist, um, she does cupping first and then she goes in with the um, needle do found that for the last two times I've been gone to uh, for my appointment it has really helped a lot um, so I've been really enjoying it 
Um, so we're going to move on to our eyes. I am... let's see. What do I want to do today? So for the eyes today, I'm going to go in with the Naked uh, Urban Decay um, palette. This is their OG palette that's now discontinued. I bought it right before they decided to discontinue it. Uh, I ne actually never own this palette. Uh, this I don't own any of the other Naked palette either because, I don't know, I found them kind of boring. <laughs> um, I really wanted this when it first came out, came out but it wasn't available in Canada. Uh, and where I lived, there, um, we didn't have a Sephora at the time. Uh, and then when I start adventuring out to the world of makeup, I started buying other palettes. Um, and this one is kind of, you know, um, it's the most useful, but it's also very basic. I wasn't really uh, attracted to these type of colors anymore at the time, um, but I still bought it just for the sentimental reason that this was the first uh, I guess commercialized makeup palette. Um, the co the colors are pretty. I do found it to be really um, like it's a no fuss look. Every time I want to do something, you know, I don't want it to be super dramatic. I can just use this because the colors are very basic. <laughs> I don't know what what else to say. Um, so. I'm just going to go in with Naked right here, it's the third color, and I'm going to just kind of draw out the crease. I've been really enjoying this palette recently, every time I don't really know what I want to do, this is the palette that I turn to use, because you can create a lot of look with this palette and it's great for everyday basis you know neutral tones are always a great choice so after we're done that so after i put that in my crease i'm gonna go into the second color which is sin it's uh, a shimmery color. I'm gonna apply that just with my finger all over the lid. And then after that, we're gonna apply to darker colors around the inner corners as well as the outer corner. Like that. And I'm just going to go in with the Naked again to kind of add into the outer corner as well as an inner corner. How is everyone's week so far? Last time when I tried to attempt to do a video, I was talking about Brett Kavanaugh's hearing. And then just over this past weekend, he is unfortunately confirmed. I can't say I like that person, not because of the sexual accusation, I just don't like how he behaved in court. It seems like to me he was not very calm, he does, it does feel like um, when he talk about why was he accused? He was he was saying it was um, a Democratic Party's agenda, and then that to me never felt like a good statement to make if you're trying to be a judge, because it just seems like a come up from a point of bias, because you don't have proof that it is their agenda, and even if it is, you should not state something like that just for your personal reputation, I guess. I mean, not hearing to him no good when it comes to his reputation or his image. For anyone who maybe thought about he was a good guy, I think by, by the end of that hearing, you should see that there are 
better people than him, you know, to be on a Supreme Court. So that is done. I'm just going to still use the same brush. I'm going to go into it with this darker matte brown and then I'm just going to go into the inner corner and the outer corner more to create more shape. And that's gonna be it for the eyeshadow portion. So next, what I'm gonna do is go in with a dark brown pencil to line my waterline. So this is the Sephora pencil. I really like their um, eye pencil formulas. It's really creamy and it lasts really long. This color is in Paramisu. It's a matte brown. And then I'm just gonna do this. Every time when my guy friends see me doing this, they always feel like it's making them so uncomfortable. But see the waterline do make a difference. So now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. I'm going to use the Kevin Naquan eyelash curler. This is actually a new eyelash curler that I use. Normally the one I really like is the um, Shiseido one. This is their old version, which their package was still silver. The new version, oops, the new version is now in black. I prefer the old version. I feel like the shape fits better on my eyes. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I feel like for Asian eyes, either the Shu Imura one, Shiseido or Kevin Naquan are better fitted for our eye shape. I've tried other eyelashes curler. I'm sorry, I've tried other eyelash curlers in the past, and then they're really st stiff on um, my eyes. I don't really feel like they work. See how eyelashes can make a difference? This is just one eye that's curled, one eye that's not curled. So I'm gonna keep curling it. I have my pet peeve is that uh, my eyelashes has to be super curled before I apply on mascara or else I feel like it's a waste of makeup so going back to the Cabinot confirmation I, I mean it is very disappointing that he was confirmed but on the Plus sides, I see a lot of people comment that this is exactly the reason why they're going to vote in the American midterm election to make sure things like that won't happen again, which is great. Um, it is funny is that I know more about American politics than I do about Canadian politics. Um, it's me because we, I think that might be the reason because there are more people who find American politics to be uh, more important because United States, Amer it is a very significant country in the world. Uh, at the same time, I think it's also entertain for entertainment purpose. Oh, have I lashes in my eye? I think on the same hand, it could be the entertainment reason. I mean, with our current president. Um, so everything it happens, they kind of look for a reaction of the public as well as the president which seemed to never really 
be coherent. Um, so, yeah. So, these are my eyelashes curled. And they're ready for mascara. So the favorite mascara that I like is the one from uh, Clay Depot. This is the one that gives you super, super, super long eyelashes, even if you have short and stubby lashes like me. So I'm just gonna apply this. This one has been very used and abused. I opened this up in May, I think. It is now October. I think I opened this in June. Actually, never mind. I do. I think this is the best mascara for Asian lashes um, because they make it super long and wispy and holds the curl, which is important because Asian lashes don't hold curls very well and then our lashes are not curly ourselves compared to you know people who naturally have long and curly eyelashes I am very jealous of that so this is with one coat of mascara and with that see this is a pretty expensive mascara, so if you would like to um, purchase this, I recommend wait, wait for the Nordstrom uh, sale. Yearly, they have an event twice a year, and then that's when you have um, buy two mascara, get the third one free, which is when I purchase this mascara. So you can buy three two of this for the price of two so the other eye is done so now the other eye is done i'm gonna go in with eyeliner and also i'm going to kind of brush up the uh, the eyebrows with another eyebrow powder so it just helps them to look more full so the eyeliner I'll be using is Hourglass Gold Liner in the liquid packaging, like that. So I'm just going to line up. I only line the outer corner because I already waterlined. Just like that. I don't really um, line the upper lids because um, I already have very, very tiny eyelids. So if I do that, it's going to take a lot of lid space. So I'd rather just align the outer corner. As much as I like this hourglass liner because it does stay on um, very long, uh, I do not want, I probably won't repurchase this because I do not like belt tip, if you can see. So this is a belt tip liner and see that little on the point? Um, sometimes I feel like felt tip are not as precise as a br bristle liners, so, but, which is what I wish this one had. However, this one is super, super black, and 
does stay on for a very very long time which is why I like this one like I said before I'm going to be going in with an eyebrow powder just to make it look a little bit fuller this is by Kate this is a Japanese brand I'm going to go in with the darker two colors and I kind of just brush them out. Sometimes I use this powder to uh, do my nose bridge contour as well. We will see if I'm feeling it today. So <clears throat> now I brush up my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Benefit Brow Gel to secure them. To make sure they stay in place because I have really fine hair so they turn to get messy I'm just gonna brush them up and then towards the direction they grow and then the same with this other eyebrow brush up and towards the direction they grow And that's that. Um, so you might notice today I am not going to apply any powder because my skin has been really dry and I do like this um, dewy look the Cleo cushion gives. So I'm gonna go directly into bronzer. Um, so I have this bronzer here. This is a Tom Ford bronzer. It's already dirty. This is number one in gold dust. This is a huge bronzer, the same size as my face. So this is a newish bronzer that I just have here. I'm going to use I'm going to use a contour-ish brush and then just go in the outside perimeter of face. Since the weather is warm, I can kind of pile on more of this this just helps to slenderize your face shape and also bring some color to my pale ass skin I'm gonna do it down here I'm gonna do it up here Is this hair coming from? So after I added some color to the skin, I'm actually going to contour as well. I said in the last video, one of the contour powder I really like is a Dior Backstage powder. Um, this is their contour uh, palette. The ones I really use are these two colors here. Um, and I'm going to use an even more precise contour brush. I'm going to mix these two. And then just going to right under the cheekbones. I just want to concentrate on that area. Because this is lens towards more cool tone, where the Tom Ford bronzer is a little bit more warm. I'm going to just do the same on here. And next, I'm going to go into also a new product that I have here. This is a Clinique cheek palette. It has three of their um, cheek pop blush. Uh, I don't have a box anymore. Ooh, I don't have a box anymore, so I don't remember their names. Um, because of the warmer weather, I'm going to go into this peachy color so I'm going to go in going this color with the blush brush I'm going to use a lot of this actually because I want it to my look to be more summery I'm going to apply it horizontally into the contour or the bronzer that we placed Ta -da, I'm back 
Uh, my camera was exhausted because it's so damn hot in Toronto and I the last time when I was uh, where the camera got cut off is when I was applying the blush and I know this freaking lighting change again and I'm sorry for the constant change in this video I don't have like I don't have a lighting set, set up so anything I use is from the natural lighting so I applied this blush was this one so I applied it across from the cheek area and that's where I left off so what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm going to turn on my uh, eyelash curler the heated eyelash curler I'm going to turn it on while I wait for that to turn on I am going to apply a powder even though earlier I said I wasn't going to apply a powder I am going to apply a powder just to um, blend uh, set everything in and then kind of diffuse the makeup all together if I can find where the powder is So I'm just curling my eyelashes with a heated eyelash curler. If you want your eyelashes to stay curled all day, this is going to help. Um, and also it's going to make them really, really, really curly. If you have straight Asian lashes, I highly recommend this step. Um, but if you have already curly and long wispy lashes, you don't really need it. Like that. And I'm just gonna go and try to find my... Oh, where is my freaking powder? Okay, I found my powder. So this powder I use is the Elegance. This is another Japanese brand that I really like. I am going to powder this to my whole face, just how to help to um, kind of diffuse all the makeup all together. And also, um, this is going to blur out my pores. I am going to use a little big fan brush like this. I'm going to pick up some product. Um, so this is in the color 4, which is the lightest that they have. I'm going to first go into the T-zone area, which is where I produce a lot of the oil. And then going under the eyes. I am going to touch up the eye makeup a bit because it's been a while since um, my camera got cut off. So I'm going to go back to this area, just kind of add a little bit more eyeshadow. like that so after this step is done I'm going to go back to the eye palette just to add a little bit more eyeshadows so uh, I'm gonna go into the shade buck and then just kind of focus more in the inner corner and then kind of blend it all the way into the eye socket like that so it creates a little bit even more depth than this eye I'm gonna do the same here okay, this is a pretty simple everyday eyeshadow look so I'm not being super careful when apply just like that and then uh, with the flat tip brush, I think this is from, um, oh, this is, this dual brush has come from the Makeup Revolution palette. With the flat top brush, I'm going to dip into a darker brown. This is Dark Horse, this one right here. And then I'm going to apply it onto the lower lash line. Just a little bit. 
like that. And then I'm going to do the same onto this eye as well. Ta-da! So that is the eye. So now I'm going to move on to the so now I'm going to move on to the nose shadow. I am going to use a... I'm going to use this palette here. This one has a gray undertone contour and also one for brightening powder. Um, I am going to use a really small paper brush like this. And then go in with a contour shade. I'm going to contour here where the nose tip is and then I'm going in here for the bridge effect I'm actually not going to go all the way till here I'm just going to go around the eyebrows to look like um, oh, this lighting. Okay, so because of the lighting change, again, so I was applying the nose shadow, so now I'm going to use a bigger brush just kind of to blend out this part. Oh, film is so damn hard on natural lighting, especially for this makeup look. Just going to blend it as much as possible. I don't, again, I don't really want it to look very noticeable like I'm gonna blend it more just so it doesn't look kicky. like that and I'm gonna take the brighter part of the contour um, palette I'm gonna use a little dusty fish brush I'm gonna use that and dip into the white side and then highlight the nose bridge because I don't have the bridge at all and that is that so finally I'm going to move on to actually I'm going to move on to highlighter first I am going to use the new uh, Fenty Beauty this is how many carrots what is it called how many carrots um, highlighter this is very intense so and I also don't recommend using a bigger brush with this because um, there is uh, little glitter particles so if you apply it all over it looks super 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 messy so what I recommended to do use a little fan brush like this or use a little uh, this is from Sephora. This is the Featherweight Blending Brush. I squeeze the uh, bristles together so make it really precise. I kind of dip my brush here and I only apply the highest point of the cheek where I want the intense highlight. Because if you apply it everywhere, it looks super super messy with all the glitter particles. Um, and then doesn't look good. So I'm gonna do that. See? It's pretty. And then I'm gonna repeat on the other cheek as well. I'm gonna do like this. Like. I'm also going to apply a the tiniest bit on the cupid's bow. And we're done with the face. And now we're moving on to the lips. So I'm going to use a new product. This is from 
Jouet. So Jouet finally launched in Canada, the Canadian Sephora. I I used to buy their product from Beautylish, but now they're at Canadian Sephora. It's actually much more convenient. So this is the kit called Le Nude. Um, it comes with three products. So it comes with um, a liquid lip, um, a gloss, as well as a lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with the liner first. This is their nude long wear lip liner, and then let's lie that. So it, you don't have to sharpen it, which is great. Actually, I should um, apply a lip liner first. I'm gonna use the YSL lip oil. I always have this on my desk because. I like using this um, before any uh, liquid lip product because liquid lipstick can be really dry. Now I have that, I'm going to apply the lip liner. So when I apply lip liners, I always fill them in instead of just lining the outside. So, so this one it kind of has a peach nude undertone. I am going to go in with the um, liquid lipstick. This is the color All Natural. I'm um, gonna do that. Oh, Ooh, it's really peachy. It's super pigmented. I'm going to use a q-tip to clean off underneath the lip just to make sure there's no uh, lipstick on my teeth. Ta -da! So, and now the last step is to use the gloss see the lighting super difficult before it was super sunny out now it's kind of like not gloomy but the lighting right now it seems gloomy i'm going to use a gloss this is in stardust it's super super pretty i'm going to put it on i'm only going to put it on right in the middle of the lips to make them look more full That's a look. So I just I just have a super casual day. I'm not doing anything. I'm currently on reading week. Um, I am going to meet up a friend. Uh, we're going to go to Jelly Beans, which I'm super super excited. I've never been. I've seen the lineup. Uh, it's like crazy. I think that was like two hour lineup when it first opened. Um, I'm actually gonna go to Jelly Beans. I never had it before. I heard it's really good. I love fried chicken, <laughs> even though it's not the best for my fitness diet, but we'll make a cheat meal today since I've been working out every single day this week. So this is the entire look. We have a really neutral eye. Um, the blush is super pretty, but because of lighting, I don't know if you can tell. I do recommend um, this blush set, it comes with the other two. I have tried them before. If you're really fair, I think this color will show up really pretty too. So I do recommend this and then and the blush is really smooth as well. Look at the lighting. Anyways, and I also do recommend the Joy Nude Lip. This is, I think, uh, new on the Sephora site. Is there anything else I use is new? Uh, and also the Cleo Cushion. I, this is my favorite summer cushion to go to. So I am going to go because this lighting is driving me crazy. I'm gonna talk to you here. So that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. I don't know if this is gonna go into the final editing. Uh, like I said, there are so many attempted video that didn't make it through. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and then I'll talk to you soon. Bye!